Hey Aquarius, welcome to your March 2021 Psychic Tarot reading with me, Stella Wild. This is for Aquarius, a Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your general energies for March 2021. Everything you need to know about the decks I am using, about uh, booking a reading with me, and about the extended for this month, the extended video for this month is in the description, so just check it out down below. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. It is so wonderful that we have connected here on YouTube. So please do consider subscribing if that is something you feel called to do. And for my continuing viewers, thank you so much. I am so glad to see you here and I appreciate and love you guys so much. So Aquarius, thank you so much for being here. I hope that you're doing really well wherever you are in the world. So this is a general reading. I just read what comes out. I do like the generals to be more focused on love situations, on personal matters, family things, etc. Your money, career, and business reading has already been uploaded. I'll leave the link to that in the description. Um, I will be extending this reading on the other side this month. So if you would uh, like to take advantage of that, I will uh, leave the link for you in the description. Okay, so let's see what we have. All right, we have some good stuff so far. No reversals with this deck. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Chariot so far. So there seems to be some really good news coming in that will fire you up, Aquarius, and get you moving on a brand new road in your life, away from some sadness and regret. The Five of Cups, this could be sadness and regret from the last five months, five weeks, five years. So I read Pentacles also as self-esteem. So whatever this news is, because it's a general reading, apply it to your life. <laughs> um, whatever this news is, does make you feel good. So that's why it's interesting that we go from this, like you can go from sadness and upset from, you know, zero to 60 with this in like two seconds. So one, one moment you're just in the, in the trough of despair. And the next moment you're like, woohoo, we got this going on. Something good is happening. The news possibly could be delivered by a cancer, uh, because of course we have cancer energy here with the chariot. But um, I also feel like chariot energy is about making a decision as well, because which which horse is going to be in the lead? Which road are we going to go down with this news, this offer that might be coming in? So the thing is, too, with the Page of Pentacles is that sometimes this news, this offer requires additional information, additional research. We have to have to check into it a little deeper so let's see, but I like this because we're moving past something that has been troublesome for us emotionally with this. Thank you, Ariel. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what else we have for you, Aquarius. So what is happening with this chariot? Where are we going? What is this page of pentacles all about? What is this situation? All right, so now we have a Six of Pentacles. So that's very interesting. So this is about ebb and flow. This is about give and take. This is about the balance of our finances, of our energy, of our resources. So you are weighing something in the balance. Um, it could be between, even though we have the page here, we only have one page so far, um, because we have two possibilities with the chariot, and we have two possibilities with the six of coins and we have the scales here, you can see. There, there may be a choice. Like I said, there's a choice. Which offer, which situation is gonna be better for you? Maybe one is gonna require more of you than the other. Maybe one is better than the other. So the also the quality of the offer, like, is this one going to require more of me than that one? Is this going to give me more goodies or, or not? That's something you're going to be considering. And that may be the thing you have to do the research on. Which one is going to pay off for me with my investment of time and energy? 
Ah, look now, Libra. So we have the justice card. So you are way, look, the scales again. You are making a very important decision this month in something that, again, major arcana. This is going to be, I think, a major new direction in your life. Could be, like I said, with a Cancer, could be with a Libra, but justice energy is also about contractual obligations, possibly legal decisions. Uh, whatever you may be deciding could have a legal implication to it, perhaps. Legal consequences, maybe you need a lawyer so that you can draw up a contract to protect yourself. I don't know, it's a general reading, but um, you know, again, you're know, you weighing this very carefully in the balance, both of these energies. So very, very interesting. And you know, both of this is about that. So let's see what else we have. But it's interesting that one is the Six of Pentacles and one is the Justice. So this one showing up as the major arcana, because the Two of Pentacles could have showed up, but it didn't. I do feel... There's possibly two, two options for you. One is absolutely better. So it is going to behoove you to take the time to really weigh the two in the balance because one is better and it's the bigger, there is a bigger opportunity. And one of the things I would say, Aquarius, is that you may be so uh, bummed out recently that you may leap at the first thing that comes in but maybe there's another one on the way. You see in the Five of Cups, we have two also. So that is one of, there's two possibilities for you. There's two, whether it's love, money, a business thing, whatever. So big decision though. It's going to be big because we have the two major arcanas. All right. All right. So what is this? What is this decision? Who does it involve? What is it all about? I want to know. Let me know. Let me know, cards. Let me know, spirit guides and universe. What? What is this? Ah. So it could be love related for sure. So for some of you, yeah, maybe Cancer and Libra energy deciding. So it is about what you want. What's going to make your heart happy in the end, in the grand scheme of things. So the number one for me is the self. It's the I. So what in my heart is going to make me happy? Uh, this, there's, there's going to be an offer you're going to accept. You are, will choose one. Notice the one came out. It's the one that feels right in your heart. So it's while you're weighing up the evidence, <laughs> you are, you're weighing up the evidence here. Here you are. And it's very, this is what's interesting to me. It's very pragmatic. You got this air energy, you got Libra, you got the pentacles down to earth. You have this very objective and pragmatic energy here. And it's like in the end, you're going to choose what makes your heart happy. Isn't that interesting? I think it's very possible that you're just like, you go through this process and then you're just like, F it. You know what? I got to go with my, what my heart tells me. And that's how you're going to know what direction to go in. So let's see. Let's see. So what is your heart going to tell you? Let's, let's ask that question. Let's pull a card. What is your, what is the Aquarian's heart going to tell them? Ace of cups, listen to your heart because I think there's something maybe, uh, like I said, one offer is better than the other. I think it's something maybe about the purity of the offer as well, that there's no maybe hidden agenda or something like that. But we got the Ace of Cups. All right, what do we need to know? <laughs> How many times has this card popped up in these monthlies? Unbelievable. Now, now we got Gemini. And of course, we have the two. So again, you're choosing between two situations, two opportunities. Both of which you will, you for one reason or the other, you would love. But again, there is one that's better. There's one that you're going to jive more with, that you're going to vibe more with because Major Arcana is popping out again. So, I mean, we didn't, we didn't get some, you know, other card of love. We got the lovers. So thank you, Ariel. Thank you, Ariel. Okay. All right. So 
Oh my gosh. All right. So how is how is Aquarius going to make this decision? What is going to be happening with this? We got a big momentous decision, choosing, choosing love, choosing a new road in love, choosing somebody who is going to bring more balance and more give and take, somebody who's going to light up your heart. All right, what's this card? Ah, page of wands here. See, now we have another page. So, very interesting. Two pages, and we are deciding, Never, we, we still have two things going on here. We are deciding between earth, probably, and fire. But let's take it as a metaphor. We're deciding between, again, the pragmatic, the practical, the down-to-earth, and we're choosing and and we're and we're deciding between the passionate maybe the impractical because fire isn't always realistic uh etc so you get my point so we're we're this is very interesting we're choosing perhaps between something that's going to make us feel a little more grounded and stable and secure and safe versus something that is more exciting and passionate and perhaps a little uncertain so you don't really know you, with fire, you don't know which way it's going to go always. So it depends on how the wind, the air affects it and other factors. I mean, earth is pretty grounded and stable and reliable, but the, the fire, you never know. So this is like what we have here. How do we figure this out? How do we know? Okay. So let's see. And again, it goes back to this. And it's not necessarily that the fire is better. I'm just saying these are the options depending on you and what you want. But there is one for you that is better, as I keep saying. I am trying to say that it's not that a fire sign is better than an earth sign in the grand scheme of things. That, no. But for you personally, as you're making your decision one option is better for you personally. Okay, so no, so earth signs, don't get on me in the comments if you're cross watching, okay? Like, I'm not saying that you're worse than an, a fire sign. That is not what I am saying. All right, all right, so let's see. What well, This is very interesting. And with both of the pages, it's like nothing's developed yet. That's the other thing because the pages are the initial first steps of something. So you probably have met this person already, I think, the Page of Pentacles. But very soon, maybe even in airy season, by the time we get to airy season, there'll be a fire sign. So by the 20th. These two people, this one's already here. This one's coming in, I think. So, but nothing has has formally developed. That's why we're, we're in this, like, I don't, in this quandary. And it's not even really choosing about exclusivity or anything like that right now. I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling it's just like, you know, you want to know which road to go down. You don't want to string somebody else along. I'm not saying whoever you choose, you're going to be totally, um, you know, exclusive with yet. We don't have that energy here yet. Um, now, of course, the question arises, well... Is one truly a soulmate? Is one of these a soulmate? This You're going to feel that energy. Can you have more than one soulmate? I think that that is possible uh, because I believe if we have multiple lifetimes, you could have several soulmates from various lifetimes. What if a few of them show up at the same time in this lifetime? That's possible in my view. You may disagree and that's fine. Um, but you know, how are you going to decide? This is, this is interesting because I think you don't want anything less than this. So that is the balance. This is the, this is what you're weighing up, figuring this out, but it's early days yet. It's early days. All right, let's see. What else? What else? Ah, see, again, there's a checklist, <laughs> the seven of cups. I have a checklist of all the things I would like in my soulmate, please. Here's my order, universe. Here's my order. Please deliver me the things on my checklist. So you do have some ideas about what you're looking for. And you're you're weighing it up. You're figuring it out. 
All right, let's see what else. We know this. I'd like a decision or something or which direction are we going in? What is happening? All right, well, now we have the magician. Isn't that interesting? Very interesting. And the, for me, the magician is very much about the self because it's the number one. It is about all of our personal qualities that we have that for with which we make our own brand of magic so i think what's interesting here so many major arcanas that have come out there is going to be an undeniable energy that you are going to feel with one of these people and depending on your situation and i'm going to dive deeper with this in the other side it's going to be one of these energies There's going to be an undeniable magic. They are going to make you feel something that you just, I feel you've never felt before in your heart. So that is the way I think you're going to be able to make your decision. So yeah, God, look at all of this. Again, it goes back to, it goes back to the fact that you're going to go through all of this. You're going to go through all of this decision. You're going to go through your checklist in an objective fashion. Here you are, my checklist. But in the end, the checklist, I think, is going to get kind of thrown out the window because of your chariot, because it's going to be based on really some sort of magical feeling that you have that tingly sensation, the butterflies in the stomach, the starry eyed kind of like blurry, like, oh my God, is this really happening? Like you almost have this out of body experience in dealing with this person. That is the thing. And that cannot be, to <laughs> that cannot be totally predicted. You know what I'm saying? Like in terms of, um, how that's going to happen. I mean, we're going to pull more cards and we're going to see which way it's going. But I say it's not going to be totally predicted. Like the jury's still out on which, which one this is. I mean, you might feel that way with both of them, but something is going to shift. I really don't want you to talk yourself into something with your checklist, Aquarius. I want you to really zero in on the feeling. And what I'm also feeling is that one of these people make you feel your own magic more. They make you feel, make you feel that sense of the divine feminine, the divine masculine, again, whichever you identify with, uh, deep inside of you. And that's, they bring out that magic in you. So I hope I'm making sense, but I think this is, this is very, very interesting. Very interesting. And if we, even if we look at this is you're going to make the decision to move forward and invest in, in this relationship. So, but I'm still feeling you're choosing between two options. So let's take it on the other side and dive a little deeper. Okay. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me. Look at this gorgeousness. Wow. I cannot wait to hear how this energy is resonating for you. Oh my goodness. Take care and I will see you again soon. Stella Wilde signing out.